Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 47, and this is war number six. So we're halfway through the season. And we're going up against NYC Guardians. We not winning this one, y'all. They're brutal. Now, I just have to say something before we continue. We were doing well, and Someone, I won't mention any names, mentioned in the chat that our rank had gone up and mentioned, let's hope we don't get matched up with somebody like NYC Guardians. And then we did. Just saying. All right. So take a look. Here you go. Uh, this alliance, in case you did not know, is a top alliance. Now. They're taking it easy, but they're taking it easy is still brutal for the rest of us, okay? Anyway, let's see. Who did they ban? Oh, boy. They already banned McCorvus and Omega Sentinel and Ghost. I'm going to tell you all right now, I am not stressing this one out. Not stressing it. All right. Let's uh, take a look and see what we got. We can plan our defense and all that good stuff, but like I said, I, I, I'm i not uh, trying to do anything crazy. All right, so as soon as I see Spot, I'm thinking Nick Fury, right off the rip, okay? This guillotine 2099, I can do with Hulkling. Let's see who else we got here. All right, so that's Magneto. And Sandman, that's Lady Deathstrike. That's a good one. So is um, uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced can do that one. So definitely bring in Magneto. And got to bring Lady Deathstrike or else we're going to get rocked. Hmm. This is going to be rough. Magneto, Lady Deathstrike. And if I bring Nick Fury, which I definitely want to do, who do I have that's going to take that guillotine 2099? I can probably do it with Magneto. I'm not sure. Magneto, even against metal, sometimes doesn't seem to override certain things. So I may still find myself not able to um, gain any power because she's going to have her armor up. And if I can't break the armor, I'm probably not going to gain any... Uh, uh, This is going to be interesting. And we got two defenders that are global defenders. And let me think. Yeah. You know what? Like I said, I'm not stressing this out. We bringing in Magneto. We bringing in uh, Nick Fury. And we're going to bring in Lady Deathstrike. If Magneto can't do Guillotine 2099 that well, I'm just going to use uh, Little O Revives, get it down. Okay. Um, if it works out and we're able to get her, great. Uh, I'll heal him up if he survives and, you know, we'll move on. All right. So that's the plan. Nick Fury, Magneto. And Lady Deathstrike. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. So, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be going in with Magneto, Lady Deathstrike, Nick Fury. And we're taking a relaxed approach to this war. Meaning, we're going to treat it kind of like off-season. We don't have to heal up unless we want to. And, you know, we can boost, you know, 
that kind of stuff. But what our um, leader said was uh, just the 40% revives. No need to uh, heal all the way back up. All right. So with that said, we're going to try and take out this guy here. And my plan with Nick Fury is just to nuke him. That's it. Get them bleeds on him. And every once in a while that happens, it's fun. Um, you know, we forget to block. You know, happens in the middle of uh, the fight. Just suddenly uh, forgot to block. And, uh, ooh, look at this. Oh, ooh, ooh. Good thing it didn't do a whole lot of damage. But it could. All right, anyway, there we go. And he's done. Nick Fury still has his uh, first life. So, a good match. Good match. Not going to heal him or anything, but on to the next one. Now, uh, Guillotine 2099 can be very annoying. And I was not sure whether Magneto could do this fight. So, I wanted to see how it would work out. So, we do a parry. You know, she's magnetized now. All right, and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, she's magnetized. I see the power burn. Yep. So it's not perfect. The magnetism doesn't fully stop the node and all that good stuff. And of course she power drains and the node power drains. But as you can see, we are still getting it. And I thought about, I got caught there. Um, I thought about taking him up to rank five. I'm not sure yet. Very good against uh, metal. And so at this point, I'm looking at my health and I'm looking at her health and I'm like, hmm. And so I did this, which I shouldn't have done. That got me. Uh, I should have kept doing the uh, parry heavy, but I was like, maybe if I can hurry up and get to, you know, a special, we can get her. Yeah, that didn't work out, as you saw. So he's not the best option, even when you have a metal champion. If they have uh, armor ups on this node, not the best. Um but he could have done this fight. Especially if... Uh, oh, and he is uh, SIG 200. So he was doing great damage. And like I said, if I had just kept doing the parry heavy, build up those prowesses, uh, we could have uh, done this fight. But it would have been um, still a little dicey. My health would have still been going down. You know from the uh, power burn and all of that but he can do it but only if i have to otherwise i will not do that again all right but again we we're taking this easy and it was a learning experience now of course for this fight we're going to use magneto and i thought about this one i said hmm Magneto's hurt. Boss said we didn't have to heal up. And I'm looking here, and look at that. They gave us free health potions, level five health potions. So I'm like, you know what? Let's heal him up just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. You know, in case any shenanigans happen. Wait out the um, armor up. Got the magnetize on him. And now... We do him like we should have done Guillotine 2099. But this node is much easier because we don't have that power burn and, and do damage thing. All right. So now I'd love for him to fire off a special. Yep. Fire fire the special off. Yep. Fire the special off. Come, uh, fire, fire the special. Hell, hell, stop twitching. You see him twitching? Thank you. Finally. Oh, boy. The AI, man. The AI. But that's okay. It's all right. 
If you guys haven't seen, I've been playing Albion online and I have been having a blast in there. I don't get triggered like that, you know, where the AI just decides to fight passively or, you know, my inputs just suddenly don't do what I tell them to do, things like that. Nah, that don't happen in Albion. And uh, I just got a new fire staff too, and I have been rocking with it, loving it. So it, it, it's funny because I still do arena as a stress reliever. But now I've been playing Albion online to take a break from this, especially when it triggers me. Oh my goodness. All right, so next up we've got Sandman. And if you have been watching me, you know that I have fought Sandman with Lady Deathstrike. Basically, he's not gonna beat Lady Deathstrike. Not gonna happen. Okay. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. All right. We gotta, ooh, hit me. Oh, yep, he hit me. He doesn't do enough damage. Um, so he will not be able to uh, take her out. Mainly, you know, to take her out, you'd have to either hit her with a special three that will destroy her or... Your special one and two have to do enough damage um, to take her out in basically one hit, which has happened. If you watched my previous war video, you know that it happens. And of course, just hitting will still do damage. She doesn't heal from regular hits, only the special attack. But the nice thing about my talents, look, look, look at this. What, what, what's going on? Finally. Yep. And I purposely got hit there, by the way. And you're going to see in a minute why. Keep looking at my health. I'm going to get hit again. Purposely. Look at my health. Do you notice it's going up as I'm getting hit? I'm healing for more than the damage I'm taking. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I want to heal all the way up because I know I'm going to need her for the next fight. So I'm trying to get him to fire specials. Finally, he did. And I get hit on purpose. Look at this. Bam. I'm at a full health bar. So I'm like, yeah. But one of the problems with uh, Lady Deathstrike is her damage. She just doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. So I'm like, all right, all right. Let's, let's try and get him down. Look at this. Look at this. 9%. Yeah. But just can't finish it off. Now I want him to fire a special. Okay, there we go. Hit, hit. Boom. And then that happened. I was like, wait, 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 what? I said, what, what, what just happened? I didn't heal. Oh, now he's unstoppable. What in the world? See, the fight should have been over earlier. Now I'm scared. I'm like, what the heck was that? Look at this. He's like, bam. It has to be those um, petrifies. I was like, I don't believe this. I healed all the way back up, and now I'm down to 36%. Her damage. I've actually been thinking about taking her up. She's ranked four right now, SIG 200. And I thought about um, ascending her and taking her to rank five. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. She exists as a seven star, but her awakened ability gives her more damage. And that's the one thing that we kind of need from her. I'm so disappointed that Kabam didn't see that need as well. All right. Now this fight here, I'm going to tell you right now, even though I was uh, matched up, I don't think she's a good matchup for this fight, but that's that's the fight that I was given and I had not done it before. So the strategy is basically uh, do ending combos, medium ending combos, get the heal block. Because if you look here, personal space regeneration. To stop that, 
you can do the medium ending. But I want you to watch what happens here and you'll see why I say not a good option. Now, I didn't decide to heal up because, you know, we're not worried about all that. All right. So we got the ruptures, got the heal block, so he can't regen. Okay. Here we go. Great. But here's a problem. All right. Everything is going great here, but now I have to bait that out. He heals up and takes me out because he's a global defender. And he does a lot of damage on his specials. Not only that, but he puts a lot of debuffs on you with his specials. She doesn't just heal, you know? And so when he gets, when she gets hit, with his special attack, she is healing up a little bit, but he's doing a lot more damage. And he's got the dots, you know, he's putting the uh, um, neuro shocks on. And so, yeah, look at this. Bam. And I'm like, okay, this is not gonna go well. You know, we, we're not worried about it, you know, because you know, we're already doing a relaxed war, but now I'm I'm wanting to do my best. I want to see if I'm just wrong and she's a good counter. Let's try and give it, you know, a, a good try, you know, but I'm pretty sure she wasn't a good match for this. But you see, I used uh, some health potions, heal all the way up to full. That's the last time I'm going to do that, by the way. So I wanted to see how this works. All right. So here we go. Got to stop that um, regen. All right. And you'll notice I'm, I'm getting uh, shocks placed on me. So I'm losing health regardless. And then when I have to bait this out, if he's got the regen on him, forget about it. He heals back up. Now, I also use this to try to, look at this, look at this. Boom. There ain't no way. No way. Not a good matchup. Not a good matchup. Um, I would say preferably someone who is shock immune that can deal with that regen. That's kind of what I would say. But I'm not sure who that would be. All right. Now, I just decided to go in with Nick Fury to see if I could uh, overpower the regen. Spoiler. Yeah, I can't. Now, that's his first life. Okay. So, he, he got that. All right. Now, let's see the damage. Nope. He's healing back up. Look at his health. Look at his health. So that ain't working. Now, if I backed off a little bit, yeah, that was just nasty. Um, and, you know, stayed away, maybe I could uh, deal with the regen better that way instead of standing there and being aggressive and fighting. Um, I would love to see a uh, video of someone taking this fight with Lady Deathstrike. Not, like I said, I'm not convinced just yet that that's a good matchup. But at least it can stop the regen. You know, she can stop that regen. But I probably like, like, see here? Instead of uh, being full blown um, aggressive, I could just back off and let them fall off the regen stacks fall off but look at that even hitting him is doing damage to me he doesn't have to hit me so as you can see here you know um he's halfway down and basically i'm gonna speed it up for you guys you're welcome i just keep doing that i keep going in healing up uh, with my 40% boost and then uh, 
you know, putting the heal block on him, do as much damage as I can before I go down. That's that's pretty much it. That's my entire strategy. Uh, and of course, uh, I also managed to get, and you can slow it down so you can see it. I actually managed to evade his special fully. I had never done that. And I was like, whoo, whoo, whoo. I'm getting the timing. So I was like, dash, 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 Ooh, dash, dash. And I got it. Now, I still need a lot of practice doing that. But I was practicing here. And I was actually able to evade. I think I, I was able to evade it uh, twice. Once for sure. Possibly twice. But other than that, all I was trying to do was... Uh, do as much damage before his Neuroshocks took me out or his special took me out. That was it. All right. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it for my fights for this uh, war. And we'll be back. We pretty much know how it's going to go because we weren't taking this war serious. You know, match us up with them. We're not going to waste our, our time and... and uh, loyalty and all that good stuff to try to fight them anyway we'll be back and you'll see just how this war ended and we're back and as a surprise to no one we lost this war let's see how bad we lost it wasn't nobody trying to heal up and, and go in there and, and do nothing. All right. Shout out to our uh, MVPs. But, you know, very relaxed war. I love it. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.